Alright, it's garage day. Garage day is like leg day. Uh, garage day number two. I actually have a ton of stuff to do. Uh, so I got to finish off the brakes on the diesel and I got to do some work on the Cougar. So uh, we'll, we'll see how much I can get done. one hung up a uh, uh, caliper slide which that causes the inner uh, the inner uh, piston side uh, pad to wear so I'll get this all cleaned up moved up the other ones are okay and uh, get get everything back in action I don't have anything to like a wire brush or nothing to go down in there so I'm gonna do a little something here. Yeah, I could just buy a new pen, but what fun would that be, right? So some of you keen-eyed viewers will notice that I turned my own uh, rotors. And the reason, I've done it many times over the years. In my former life, I was a machinist. So one of the reasons I do that is because the minimum turn thickness that you can turn it to was 1.430. The minimum use thickness was 1.410. The 20 thou discrepancy between the two is because the use one is if you pull it off and it's at 1.410, you can still use it because it's smooth. At 1.430, it has tool marks on both sides. And as soon as the tool marks wear through, then it's gonna be at 1.410. So I know that if I can turn my rotors down to 1.410 with no tool marks, that I'm okay to use it within manufacturer spec. That's why I do it. Uh, it's not like a safety thing. Even if I was to go five or 10 thou under, it's not really that big a deal. Then I know where I'm at. Next time around, when it comes time to do brakes on the old diesel, I'll go ahead and pre-order a set of road, new rotors for it because that's where I'll be. So just to give you an idea why I did it that way. All right, so I'll try not to talk too much, which is sometimes hard to do, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this back together. Make sure I got everything I need. Uh, yeah.
So these are correctly oriented. And you'll see they, they start to go in there. And they provide some tension to keep your pads from squealing. All right, garage day part two. I got my Cougar here and I got this screeching noise in the rear end. Uh, so on my last uh, Thunderbird that I had, my 81, uh, had a broken spring in the uh, e-brake the, the e uh, equalizing bracket was rubbing on the inside of the rotor or, or the drum. So I'm thinking that's what it is. Uh, so we'll see how, how close I get. my uh, squealing. You wonder why I don't like these things. Uh, it's squealing and the brakes still have probably 20,000 miles left on them. So that's why I don't like